Okay, we are back. And let's do a quick spot check of the resources. Things are looking good so far. And, well, we're, we've got some iron issues. So let's, let's get that fixed. Even though we have 100 uh, tools in the shed, I want to make sure that we, we get some of that. So let's go ahead and prioritize that real quick. And we'll go ahead over here and just collect it. And that's the thing. You just keep an eye on what you need and then you go prioritize it. That simple. Make sure, you know, your laborers have all the tools they need. Otherwise, you'll start to run into trouble. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start to prioritize some of these other things here. And also, we need some stone. So let's, let's select that as well. And then I'll go ahead and speed this up for a little bit. And our food situation seems to be okay. Not great, but not terrible. So, yeah, see they're coming over here now and getting all that iron, which we need. we got to make sure we keep that up. Keep all our resource management up. And let's just zoom out here. And we'll do a big... Oh, let's get do all the resources. Now remember, it's this button. And we'll just get rid of all that as well. Okay. And you can already see we're starting to, well, we're not building up stone yet, but we'll get there. Okay, now the other thing I want to talk about um, real quickly, it's kind of important. Um, so we talked about the forester, in the last, the forester in the last video. And what he does is he, we have him set, let's go look here actually, let's get rid of this. And we got him set to both cut and plant trees. That's what you want. You want him cutting down and planting trees. And let's actually bump this up a little bit so we can get more wood but what happens is as he cuts the food down he's got to go all the way up here to deposit those logs so we want to shorten that distance a little bit and there's an easy way to do that you just want to we can do that by creating another stockpile and you can pretty much do that anywhere you want but we're going to go ahead and just do it right at the end you know, let's let's think about this. We want this kind of close. What we'll do is we'll put it right here. We'll just put a little stockpile right here. Just so he doesn't have to go too far to get those. Actually, you know what? I'm changing my mind. Hold on. Because um, I think I might want to put another field here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll put it right here. This is what we'll do. We'll just stick a big stockpile... See, I'm thinking about where I want to put this now. You know what? Let's build another road out here. Let's put another field. See, I'm all over the place right now. And this is the thing. You kind of have to plan these out. But let's... You know what we'll do? We'll just stick it right here. There we go. So we have enough to put another... So he doesn't have to go that far now. That's good. So he can just deposit here and then, you know, whoever needs to get it will come get it. So, yeah, you kind of want to think about that that you don't want people traveling too far because then he's not doing his job which is what we want we want him doing his job okay so we're still low on iron what on earth is going on here that iron's just let's let's check and see here so we've got this guy we've got a hundred tools but let's speed it up so we just kind of have to keep an eye on that and I think we just yeah, so we got a little bit here. So you just have to keep... Boy, I think they're using it to build the market, maybe. I think that's what's going on. So in there, we had some more deposited, you can see. So you just have to keep an eye on it and keep everybody going. That's really the key. Keep everybody going. So we're really low on iron. That's, that's, the, that's a problem right now. So in fact, you know what we might do is... I think what we're going to do is for a little bit, we're going to turn off the blacksmith so we're gonna disable him and we're gonna set him out here that's what we're gonna do we're gonna turn off the blacksmith and you just got to keep an eye because I want to build up my iron supply and that's one thing you do if you have enough tools you can build up your iron supply that's what we're gonna do now you'll get a question mark as you can see there we got a question mark and that's fine but we just have to sort of keep an eye on that and actually I'm not gonna let him linger I'm gonna actually I'm going to create another, you guessed it, another field. 
And we're going to go here and another crop field. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Like I said, you can never have enough crop fields. Let's set this one to potatoes. Good. And let's go ahead and add that guy in. All right, so that's good. All right, and then what we'll do, so we've got some students. That's what I wanted to show you. So these students will be ready in a few years and then they'll be put into the labor market. That's how that works. But the good thing is they're educated. So they're much more efficient, much better to have educated workers. And you can see iron supply still very low. My gosh, okay. So even though we're, we're telling them to get it, it's still taking time. I thought I prioritized that, but. Anyways, uh, they're, yeah, they're getting it. It's just being consumed, I think, by this market. So we've got to keep that iron production going but the food production is really good we're in good shape on food which is really all that matters you really can't go too far without food okay so we're letting that market go and let's hopefully hopefully it gets done pretty soon again i'm gonna really emphasize that they should get this stuff done I hope they are let's see if we can it's telling us we're low on food but i don't think they are and yeah it's just taking forever to build this see this game can be very challenging i mean i played a game before i even played this and i had you know this wasn't actually the best setup i don't really like it that much i had a much better setup in the last game i played and i had like a lot of iron going but this one I'm, I'm, you can see i'm struggling with it but we got a lot of store tools so that's good so let's see, let's, um, let's again prioritize it just to make sure that they are where I want iron. Okay. Get iron, but we're doing good on wood. That's good. Wood is actually very important again because you need that, you need that firewood. And we've got a house and we've got students, all good. So, but we've definitely got a major problem with iron right now. That is a major problem. So hopefully they'll start collecting it. I think they are, yes, there it is. Critical, and she took it with her. Let's follow her back, she'll deposit it here. And hopefully that'll build up. Yeah, I think they're using it to build this market, but it's sure taking its time. There we go. Okay, so we got some, finally some movement on that. Took a little time, but we got some movement on it. We definitely need that. Like I said, you don't want to overexpand without a market. And normally, like I said, I didn't like the start of this map. Wow, that's a big lake. Um, usually you'll put this in a more central area and then have the houses all around it. But, you know, this, like, like I said, I didn't really like this layout, but, you know, you got to take what they give you. So, okay, we're doing good. We got 400. Of this we got two builders are starting to get some of that iron now that's good and we think we got the market complete almost complete let's let's see what you can do is you can click on it and it'll tell you the progress and actually it looks like it's done so you can see they already took some fish there that's good and so that means somebody from the house can come get it. all right let's slow things down now what you have to get is a vendor it just improves the um, there we go. We put a vendor in there. Yeah, it just approves the efficiency of it. Okay, so now, again, we're building up our resources, and let's go ahead and try to construct another house if we can. Got to be careful about overbuilding too quick, but like I said, you got to keep houses going at a, kind of a steady rate, not too quick, just to make sure that... Um, that you keep your population growing like i said you cannot grow a population this is critical without a well let's stick it it's not letting us stick it right okay oh you know what? i already put it down okay that's fine okay so we've still got a builder that's good and he'll build that really good stuff okay and so we'll keep that population growing that's very important and food supply is good. Starting to build up that iron. We'll keep an eye on the tools. Make sure those don't drop. But I want to build up the iron supply a little bit, like I said. So That's why we built a wood house and not a stone house, because I think it takes up a little bit more iron. 
So we'll just keep an eye on things here. And then we need to get into another topic, which is very important, and that's health. Very important. And the big thing with that is an herbalist. You don't want to go too long without an herbalist. Got to have that. Now, some people, we're not going to do a trading post in this video, but those are important too. Now, some people claim you got to get a trading post right away and you got to get cattle. I have gone hour. I mean, I think I went 60 days or 60 years, what it is, without a, without a single trading post. So you can survive without it. It's very expensive, but some people, like, right out of the gate, they want to get cattle. I don't recommend that, but some people have different strategies. I go fine without it. I, my whole key thing is keep the food production going. You don't want to spend a lot of money early on on cattle. You want to keep that food production going, and you want to get an herbalist. To me, that's much more important. All right, let's, let's put a priority. We haven't had anybody die yet. That's good. Um, let's put a priority on that. Sometimes a builder gets distracted or whatever, so let's put a priority on that house. So you can see how important that is. Get them focused. Sometimes they're not, your builder. Now, I will tell you that even without a builder, the people will work on it a little bit. I think they'll put the framework in, but if you want to complete the entire unit, you'll need a builder, just to let you know. And so far, the builder hasn't come over there. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. All right, well, we'll just let him linger for a little bit. I did put a priority on this, though. I told him, let's try it again. Increase priority. Maybe we'll come there and we'll start working. Who knows? Okay. And we're starting to build up the iron supply a little bit. I want to get to like 40. What do we got over here? Let's also clear this out. That's just waiting to be cleared. There we go. Okay, we got all that. And more iron over here. That's good. Let's see if we can find a big supply of it. Oh, yeah. Back here. And they're coming to get some of that. That's good. I think we already targeted this, but it's doing it again. Okay. Good. Oh, wow. Massive supply back here, too. Let's make sure they hit that. Okay. Let's increase his output to 500. Let's keep that wood going. All right. So, let's see. Did he start on this yet? No, he didn't. Okay. That's fine. We've got another student. Let's check the students. Good. we got four students. That's good. That's why you want to get this going as early as possible. That's why that's really key. You want to get this going as early as possible because those students take longer, right? If I get rid of the teacher, I'll have four laborers, but they'll be uneducated. You want educated laborers. Makes your life much easier, trust me, in the long run. If you want to keep going forward in the game, you got to have a good amount of those guys. You really do. And we're really doing good on the wood production, so let's go ahead and increase his output. Let's get 600 firewood. You can never have enough firewood. Okay, and our guy is just not constructing this. I don't know what's going on. Okay. I don't even know where he's at. He's somewhere around here. I'm not sure why he's not building that, but okay. Thought I told him to. Maybe he needs more. It could be he needs... We got some iron now. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that's really strange. This has kind of been a strange game. Usually they come out there and they build that right away. But he's not doing it. It's driving me crazy. Let's increase the priority again. Get going. I'm just going to keep targeting it. Come over here. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking him so long. Well, you can see, though, we're, we're starting to get quite a few supplies now in here. We've gotten 21 iron. Keep an eye again on those stored tools. Looking good. Okay, he started on it finally. I don't know what he was doing out there, but that's fine. As long as we get that built, I want to get another house built. You want to kind of keep those, keep an eye on those. And he's going to about to finish building it. Okay, we got two. See, okay, so let's slow this down now. And this is important. So we got two extra, uh, two people that 
are now working as laborers. They became an adult. That means they're out of out of the schoolhouse and they're ready to go. So that's good. So first things first, let's get yes, another field. And what I want to do is put it right here. So we're going to go ahead and add another wheat field. And then we'll add another orchard. But for now, let's go for one more wheat field. I like wheat. It's good. And we got seven by seven. Good. Now we need to add that laborer. We've got the, the manpower. And let's speed it up. So good, we're gonna have more food coming in because we're gonna need it. We're growing, we need that food. And then we'll have a nice 12 fields going. That's pretty good. And I think they're gonna come down and cut this tree down, maybe, I don't know. We'll see. You'll see him come to the field. I think that's the person right there with a the question mark. No, okay, I don't know. That's probably the labor, okay. Oh, gosh, we got another. Okay, so we have to slow this down. So let's do, okay, we've got our house, good. And you can see people moved in right away, so that's good. Let's check the boarding house, good, all right. Um, now what I wanna do is build one more house. So let's do that, and let's do two builders now. And we're going to go ahead and construct another house. So we go to the house, and we're gonna do another Let's see, do we want to do a stone house? It takes up a lot, though. Sure does. Um, I kind of like to do a stone house because I don't want... It, it's good with fires. So it's good to avoid fires. The more stone houses you can build, the better. Because you could get a fire, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But... Basically, to avoid a fire, if you have one, you want to have a well built. That's right here. And you want to put that near your town. So that's just, we may not build it in the tutorial, but just to let you know, you would probably build it right here or something. And then if there's a fire, I rarely get them. But if it does happen, you don't want your town to burn down. It's, don't forget to build a well. That's important. So just to let you know, that's how that works. Okay. So we're continuing along here. Did they come out here? Yes. So they're, no, they haven't cut down that tree yet. I don't know what the, I don't know why he's not coming out and cutting down that tree, but let's, let's get him to do that. So let's just collect all the resources here and let's put a priority on that. So they get started on this. Oh, you know what? I think. And it's weird. Sometimes they come and they cut it down right away. Other times you'll see them kind of linger around. I thought I put a priority on this. Come on. This is why I don't like building fields where you have... Okay, well, they took that part out, but they didn't go for the tree. Come on. Thank you. My gosh. How long did that take? Okay. Now, finally, they got the logs off. You can see how frustrating sometimes this game could be. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. And let's set this to wheat. There we go. Okay. And I think the farmer should come out and eventually, yes. So that question mark goes away. That means we have enough farmers. Now, if you have a field with a question mark, that means we're short on labor. That's another little tip. So if you see a question mark, you know, sometimes... I've gotten to the point where I've had like 75 fields. You will, you'll start to lose track of it. Okay, now one thing we can't forget about are the tools, but we're still doing good. Like I said, you can go without tools for a while. It's firewood, you gotta really watch it. Okay, so we've got that going. We got two builders, we got an extra laborer. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a third laborer. And we're gonna, oh, you can see they're starting to stack up some wood. See, he did right from here, so that's good. All right, now let's go ahead and we need to keep this health up. And the best thing for that by far, you would think it's the doctor, no, or the hospital. It's not. The hospital is really for when you have a disease. It rarely happens, but you can get it. So you do need to build one, but the big thing you wanna get to prevent the disease really is to keep these hearts up. And the best way to do that, to keep the health up, 
is an herbalist, like I said. So let's go here and you'll see this one, sorry. You'll see this little herb. And what you wanna do is set him, let's put her right here. You wanna put her next, actually let's rotate this. You wanna put it right next to the Forester, and I'll tell you why. Here's the reason. It's because the herbs will grow out here in the forest. And you may have to make sure, by the way, that you're cutting down and building and, and planting new trees. You don't want to do one or the other. You want to do both. Then you'll get more herbs. And you can see they're kind of right here. So she'll collect all those, and then people can use those to safeguard from illnesses. That's, that's the big thing, okay? That's the big thing. Okay, we are really doing well here. We haven't, we've got plenty of food, really the key. Uh, we've got plenty of laborers. We're growing and hopefully they'll start working on this. And we may have to put a priority on that house. So let's do that first and then we'll prioritize. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I don't know if that gives them added strength to go out and do it but let's just keep let's get them going on it. and we're you can see here um, we're starting to get quite a few materials and if this fills up we may need to actually add some more storage space there I, I, that's why I warned you in the beginning you really need to keep an eye on this this can fill up okay good they started on that we, we're gonna take a little bit of hit on the stone and iron you got to watch that and just keep an eye on those tools that's why again it's important to realize you can kind of get rid of the blacksmith here and there it's not as important as the firewood that's even more important and our firewoods in really good shape so okay there we go we got it let's check that out now and let's see let's slow things down here for a little bit and it's immediately occupied so we'll get some children out of there like I said you need these houses for children good deal now let's go ahead and finish off the let's put a priority now on the herbalist so we're gonna go right here and do that there we go and now we'll start working on that got to get that done too and then again never forget food 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 always food very important also keep an eye on your barn so this is good while I'm thinking of this click on this once in a while and see what percentage this is full I've actually had this where I've had like three barns at 100% capacity once this gets up to you know 90% or something you need to think about another barn because you're gonna run out of storage space and they won't have any place to store their goods so again you always want to keep that in mind that's a very important point I want to make always keep an eye on that right now we're pretty good but again um, you got to just kind of eyeball that so we're doing pretty good here so this one thing I want to show you don't be afraid to start building bridges too and that's what we're gonna do right now and we're gonna build one right here so don't be afraid to do that um, they are that obviously for expansion you need it so you select it here and let's try to hook it up. Actually, we're too... No, I'm doing a tunnel. What the heck? Okay, bridge, wooden bridge. So we're gonna construct it right here and they'll start to work on that. And now this will allow us uh, to go over and start mining all of these resources, collecting all those resources. Very important because uh, obviously you're gonna run out of, uh, you don't want your workers to have to run a million miles to get resources, that can be a pain, so. Again, you don't want to don't have don't want to have to do that too much. Okay, so are they working on the? Hopefully, they can get that herbalist going. Or they might be working on the bridge. Not sure. That's fine. Though. We'll let them do what they want. We put a priority on it. Of course, this is a lot farther. They have to come. Let's see. Maybe they're waiting for this stuff to be cleared. So let's do this. Let's go here. Let's order this stuff cleared and then let's put a priority on all of this right there okay good it's probably what they're waiting to do is to because i can see them working a little bit on the bridge too so yeah again bridges very important um they shorten it allows you to expand and it allows you to get i mean look at all these materials over here just waiting to be 
taken. So, and you might also want to think about like another forester because they are really nice. It's almost free wood. You don't even have to do anything. Let's bump up his allowance here. Keep him going. Because uh, you want, this is a really good supply of, look at this. I mean, look at all that wood we've gotten. And so they're starting to cut down these trees here. We'll get to that. Things are looking really good. We're surviving. I mean, we're, I'm going to make it out of this. So you can see really the overall key. And I, don't, I think we're going to stop the video now. And in the next one, I'm going to show you how to do a trading post. But really, I think you get the idea. These are the big things that you want to do. Add the fields. Keep adding a field. Every time you add a couple, two or three houses, you want a field. Maybe even less of a ratio. You got to think about food. If you want to build more fisheries, that's fine. Uh, but just don't forget, you got to keep adding houses. Otherwise, your population is going to get stagnant. And ours is not stagnant. Let's check. We've now got three students. And we've even got a new laborer. Look at that. So we got the event here. We've got a new laborer. So you know what? Usually when I get a new laborer, uh, you don't want that laborer to not do anything. So let's see. They're still working on that. We're going to go ahead and create a new field. You guess it. And this time we're going to do an orchard. You kind of don't want to, you want to kind of mix things up. Like I said, that keeps them happy. Uh, so, and it's important to keep happiness, obviously. So let's see if we can draw. we got a lot of space here. This is actually not, I, I thought this was a bad map, but it's actually not a bad map. So let's go ahead and we'll create now an orchard. We've got chestnuts, that's for our orchard. Now the trader, which I'm gonna show you in the next video, you can actually trade to get apple seeds if you wanna do other things. And I didn't wanna forget about, see we're getting down in tools a little bit, but we've got two extra labor. So we're gonna go ahead and re-enable the blacksmith. And we're gonna add another farmer. Good, okay, all good. So we've got those orchards will grow and we are just trucking along here and you can see the herbalist is about to this eventually will get done maybe we'll just wait for that you can see it's getting done now they don't have to run as far for supplies they're cutting this down and things are just going really really good just remember keep an eye on the big big three as i call them wood firewood and food those are the big three you know you can live without iron it's not a good situation but you know you can just go collect it right away and you can see here they're starting to go across our bridge our bridge was completed and they're now starting to go across that good and you know what we might do is let's just have all that stuff i think what i'm going to do i might actually just play this game out but i think what i'm going to do is put a forester over here and then cut down all of these resources and we'll build some more farmland. That's kind of the way you want to think about it. Like, you definitely want to keep a couple foresters, foresters going on because they are really nice. So let's just do a mass collect on all of these resources. Really good. Actually, let's highlight this. There we go. Get some up here too. That's going to provide a lot of resources. Look, they just have to run across that bridge now. We don't have to go that far. Things are going really good. And I think we almost got our this built out here too. It's getting really close. Let's just see if we can get they can get that done. Taking some time, but they're getting there. They have to run farther, obviously, but we got a lot of supplies. And I yeah, yeah, that's good. There we go. They're coming out here. We'll get it done. We'll start to work on it. So when the if you're following along and once this is completed, it's really simple. You just go add an herbalist. It's, it's very simple. Wherever she is. I can't see right now. Right down here. There you go. And then they'll start collecting some of those herbs. So I think you get a sense how this works. Um, then, you know, add a house. Don't forget to add houses. I mean, it's, it's really not... It's just a really intensive resource management game. Just keep an eye on your resources and you'll do well. Okay, like I said, in the uh, trading post is really kind of important, but I usually do it later game. Um, some people want to do that early game, but I usually die when I do that because to me, it's important, like I said, I can't stress this enough. Keep these fields going, keep the food coming in. You don't want to have to wait for the next fall harvest while your population's starving. They will all die, and pretty soon this will be your ghost town. And that's it. 
call it game over. Okay, thanks as always for watching. See you guys later.